The last world war was ended by a nuclear bomb. But could the next world war be started by one? This upcoming scenario is fictional and ultimately unlikely. But that doesn't mean that we're talking about the impossible. Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine has put the world on edge. You may have even asked yourself, are we headed toward nuclear war? Will I be safe? The terrifying truth is that if World War III were to start today, no one would be. A nuclear bomb detonates over Washington, D.C. Less than one second after impact, the center of the warhead reaches temperatures of approximately 200 million degrees Fahrenheit. That's about four times hotter than the surface of the sun. A ball of air forms, expanding at speeds reaching millions of miles per hour. Even though after one second, its temperature has now cooled to a still scorching 16,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it now looks like a giant fireball around a mile in diameter. Over 400,000 people lose their lives instantly, and a further 370,000 people are seriously injured. After five seconds, the bomb's horrifying fireball now stretches over a kilometer in every direction. For anyone or anything in range, there's simply no escape. This is what you would likely experience were you to find yourself in Washington, D.C. during World War III. It might seem like something out of a SCI fi movie or maybe a World War II documentary, but recent events have rendered scenarios like this entirely possible. On the 24th of February, 2022, Russian forces invaded Ukraine, majorly escalating the Russo-Ukrainian conflict. This move would go on to have hugely significant repercussions, including displacing over 7 million people, causing a global food shortage, and bringing on the deaths of an estimated 38,000 people. If Russia were to go one step further and use a nuclear weapon against Ukraine, who comes to Ukraine's aid? The United States is currently the largest provider of assistance to Ukraine, so America and its allies, such as the United Kingdom and France, would come to the defense of the now-nuked Ukraine. They make up formidable foes for Russia, but backing up Putin are China and North Korea. Between all of these nations, split over both sides, they are a total of around 14,000 nuclear weapons. To make this even more terrifying, Vladimir Putin has actually vowed to use Russia's weapons of mass destruction should the territory become threatened. Since the invasion began, the United Nations, among other organizations, have condemned Russia's actions. Nuclear war could become unavoidable. And that scenario is what we're about to explore. Let's imagine that the USA retaliates against Russia's attack on Ukraine. They do so using a nuclear weapon of their own. But just how devastating would one of these nuclear bombs actually be? We can compare the nuclear weapons of 2022 to those that put an end to the Second World War. In 1945, the United States initiated the surrender of the Japanese armed forces by dropping a 15-kiloton atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima, deviously dubbed Little Boy. This bomb resulted in the deaths of over 100,000 people. After the United States dropped a second nuclear bomb just a few days later, Japan surrendered. To this day, these incidents are the only times in which nuclear bombs have been used in conflict. Now, Little Boy is in fact little by today's standards where nukes are concerned. Russia is estimated to currently have nearly 6,000 nuclear warheads in their arsenal, the largest of which is an 800 kiloton bomb. So let's go back to Washington, D.C., where that nuclear warhead has just erupted and fire is engulfing everything in its path. Every living thing within the blast radius is vaporized, and even people standing 10 kilometers or around 6 miles away suffer third-degree burns from the blast's thermal radiation. The immense heat from the fire gives birth to many more fires in surrounding areas after 10 seconds. 300-mile-an-hour winds carry the extreme heat out of ground zero. After 10 minutes, the smaller fires join forces to create one gigantic, unstoppable wall of flames. Washington, D.C. is engulfed. Temperatures are hot enough to melt concrete. And for those people seeking shelter, we're afraid it's too late. The blast has decimated all buildings in the city, exposing those inside to the incredible heat. The fearsome firestorm rages for six hours. Radioactive fallout begins. There is no no person left alive within three miles of the blast. But the fire itself now covers an area of around 100 miles. After two days, the fire has slowed, but the pavement is still too hot for vehicles to drive on. 
Any survivors left from the blast now have to fight the horrors of radiation poisoning. Many will die of severe sickness over the coming weeks. Radiation is also a long-term concern. Some hotspots in the surrounding area actually remain dangerous for up to five years after the blast, and then there are those who make it out without any serious, life-altering injuries, to the naked eye at least. Years after exposure, many will lose their sight. Many will die from cancer. And thanks to the now unavoidable poor living conditions and lack of cleanliness, diseases like pneumonia, infectious hepatitis, and dysentery will claim the lives of many more. This scenario is for one city hit by one nuclear bomb. But even if these nukes were dropping all around the planet, there must be somewhere that you could keep safe. So you're looking to escape the chaos of World War III? Say no more. How does sipping cocktails on a sandy beach sound, sultry swims between picturesque islands? Fiji has all this and more. And given its location over 1,000 miles off the coast of New Zealand, it's unlikely that any world power would come looking to invade even during a world war. There's no reason to worry about running out of food either. You have unlimited access to the ocean. So as long as you aren't allergic to seafood, your wartime worries are over. And while hiding out from the battles might be making the best of a bad situation. But let's be clear, it's not going to make the bad situation go away. After Russia's nuclear bomb leaves America's capital as an unrecognizable collection of ash and destruction, the United States would almost certainly retaliate with a nuclear weapon of its own. This risks escalating the conflict, but the U.S. may have little choice. As missiles batter countries from all sides, nukes annihilate much of the planet. We now arrive at the beginning of the end of the world. The global economy collapses. Many of the technologies that we currently take for granted cease to exist. Social media, instant messaging, even email are relegated to pre-war pastimes. Many places run out of food, people starve, and millions are killed in missile strikes. Remember those horrible effects of nuclear fallout? Well, millions die in the aftermath of similar attacks. Those who do manage to survive the few weeks, possibly months of world war, now live in a society severely lacking in medical care and equipment. Cyber attacks shut down entire communication systems, infrastructure crumbles, and the world is plunged back in time to the Middle Ages. World War III remains unlikely to happen. All sides are fully aware that there would be no way to de-escalate such a conflict. So let's keep our fingers crossed that world leaders can cling to these poignant words from one of the last century's most impactful minds. I do not know with what weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Albert Einstein wars have always left devastation in their wake, but World War III may leave nothing behind. This is a fictional scenario. There is no way to accurately predict what would happen. Whether that fact is a scary truth, or one with which you can take comfort, that decision will remain up to you.